Today, we are testing the popular soling called Hyper-G. I've been playing with monofilament for the last 10 years before switching to full bed of multifilament since last year. So I'm excited to try a monofilament again and want to see why this one is so popular. We start with the elongation test. I first cut a piece of string set, hold one end by the clamp, start pulling the string at 10 kilograms, clamp the string with a second clamp just to make sure the string stay firm when increasing the tension. I put two pieces of black tape as markers to measure the length between two pieces. The length at 10 kilogram is gonna be the original length. After that, I increase tension to 15 kilograms, measure the length again, then 20 kilograms, 25 kilograms, 30 kilograms. Then I step down the tension to 25, 20, 15, and 10 kilograms. Is this scientific when doing this? Maybe not. Is this more scientific than going to the stores and read the labels? Definitely. After reading down all the data, this is the result. The horizontal axis represents the ratio of length difference between each tension and the original length at 10 kilograms over the original length. The vertical axis represents the tension at kilograms. The red line is the elongation chart of the Solinco Hyper-G. The blue line is a chart of my go-to multifilament strings, bros bro superior gut. In overall, the Solinco is stiff and stretches very little compared to the bros bro. The first lines suggest that the Solinco is much stiffer at the impact. The average stiffness or the slope of this line is 702 kg per meter. The second line suggests how much elastic strain has been recovered, or in other words, how much power you feel the string provides. The Solinco provides very little power. Its average stiffness at this part is 1077 kg per meter. We can use a ratio between two elongation processes to compare tension maintenance of two strings. The Bros Bros seems to be better at this category. So, I expect Solinco Hyper-G is firm and provides minimal power. I strung this string at 14 kg to match the string bed stiffness of my go-to string. I think players should string the rackets based on the stiffness of the string bed rather than the tension. The string bed stiffness after getting strung is at 24.8 kg per centimeter. All it means to stretch 1 cm of the string bed vertically, we need 24.8 kg. After one day, it drops to 23.7 kg per centimeter, a little bit lower than my preferred 25 kg per centimeter. How does the Solinco perform? I know the string is low powered, but it's even lower than I thought. And of course, much lower than the superior gut. To compensate the power, I normally try to lift and spin the bones more to provide good depth. However, the string didn't grab the bones much. The launch angle is very low. The spin is average, if not less than my normal setup. My go-to multifilament string grabs the bones much better, which is surprising. The low power and lack of grips make my shots inconsistent. The balls land short or to the net often as I didn't lift the ball high enough. The string feels better at volleys. I still have to strike through the balls more to execute good volleys. I have no comfort issue by the way as I strung the racket at low tension. The string bed is firm and provides good directional control at net unlike from the baseline. My serve feels similar to the volleys. I had to try harder to hit powerful serve. I could spin the balls from the serve much easier. The more I play with this string, the more I have a thought that the Solinco Hyper-G is telling me tennis is too easy, I'll make you work hard. I decided to use this demo string for rallies, not for matches, as I sense that my muscles would get fatigued very quickly if I continue to play with it. In conclusion, it's hard for me to recommend this string to anyone except the players who are physically strong. If you are strong and big and don't need much power from the racket but control, the Solinco Hyper-G might be suitable for you. The spin isn't good though and try to string so that the string bend stiffness is around 30 kg per centimeter or the tension is roughly at 21 to 24 kg depending on the racket you are using. If you don't think you are as strong as a futures level players, you don't need this string. Thank you for watching my first string review video. I hope you find it helpful and I will see you around.